Hey y'all, welcome back to Mrzinski Family Homestead. Here we're talking with Dr. Messina McKella. <laughs> and we're gonna figure out, you know, <laughs> how to get rid of any chronic diseases. Uh, and I'm diabetic, like as you all know, and I'm gonna see what we can do to heal that situation. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, oh, that's a big topic. <laughs> so that's what I'm talking about today, is um, for an hour, I'm gonna be walking you through how to actually reverse chronic and autoimmune diseases. Okay. Um, I have a whole coaching program on it, but it's, I mean, it's like 20 plus hours. So we can try to condense down to give okay. some basic steps if you'd like to do that. Yes, I would. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> so, um, gosh, where to start? So for me, uh, well, those of you who don't know me, um, I actually almost died from an advanced stage of an autoimmune disease. Um, I had um, rheumatoid arthritis in my 30s that was so debilitating I couldn't get off the floor. And I couldn't wrap my hand around a cup to drink. Um, I basically spent my days laying on the floor and my son would have to come over and put like a, a straw to my mouth so I could drink because I couldn't sit up. And he was about five at the time. Um, I had arsenic poisoning from consuming too many quote unquote gluten free foods, right? Because we now know that rice can be high in arsenic. And plastic. Uh huh, and plastic, <laughs> like several uh, foods. Um, I also, is that going to be okay? Okay. Um, I also was deficient in 15 different nutrients, borderline for both pellagra and beriberi, which are two uh, micronutrient deficient diseases that used to kill people in the, yeah. in the United States. And we thought we had eradicated those diseases by the mid-1900s, and we're seeing a resurgence of them. Um, I had leaky gut as well. Um, and I will add that I had those micronutrient, micronutrient deficiencies, even though I was consuming a high-quality multivitamin vitamin and mineral every single day. Wow. And I still ended up deficient. So eventually, um, I basically just prayed to God for help and told him that I couldn't do it on my own anymore. I'd searched for answers for over 20 years, seen so many doctors, had so many tests, nobody could figure out what was wrong. And God showed me a different path, um, one that led to complete healing. Like I'm not in remission, I'm fully healed. It's been going on, I think almost eight years now. I have no signs of disease, no markers of even inflammation in my body. Um, and so what, basically he showed me a, a roadmap of, he connected all the dots of how to reverse these types of conditions. And then I tested it out on different people, um, including people in my family, because as you know, most of our families are chronically sick now. Yeah. So we were able to heal my, my son from autism. Um, and also from an idiopathic joint condition where he couldn't even run around and play with his friends because his joints hurt too badly. Uh, my, my husband, we healed him from, from lupus and from Lyme. And then my mother, we actually ended up healing her from a whole plethora of different conditions like uh, she had grand mal seizures, Hashimoto's, type 2 diabetes, um, heart disease, um, you name it, pancreatitis. She had kidney failure. We reversed all of them. And since then, I've pretty much tested it on practically every type of condition that we know, and it's reversed them. So. The overall concept of reversing any of these types, types of conditions is detoxification. So that means detoxification of the body, the mind, and CMOS. the spirit. CMOS. Um, CMOS. If that works for you. Well, I'm so just asking. That, yeah, that, that's, <laughs> so that's one of the things. It's um, when you're detoxing, you are detoxing on various levels. So I describe disease as like an onion with different layers. Okay. And so what you have to do is peel back all these different layers of the onion, and then you'll get to the root cause in, in the center of that onion. The outer layers of the onion are the physical layers. And most of us stop there, right? Okay. Most of us think disease exists on the physical level because we're having physical symptoms, right? Yeah. So it's a yeah. logical conclusion. So we address the physical level. We'll address like micronutrient deficiencies or, um, yeah, or what we call um, infections, right? Yeah. Which are really just imbalances, dysbiosis, right? 
um, we'll address like heavy metal toxicity, things like that. And that's, those are great things to test for and to address, but they're all on just the physical level. When you get down um, further into the onion, you'll see there's a, a mental level, right? The perception okay. that's involved. And then there's also the emotional or the energetic level. And that's actually the root cause level of all diseases. So I don't know, do you want to jump into that level? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, following, I'm following you and I'm, and I'm understanding. I'm, that's, that's fine. Okay. But, uh, yeah, but I, this, this is. <laughs> and I'm going to talk about all this in, in the talk and I'll take you through step by step. I just, I, honestly, I agree with 100% everything you're saying because it's, you know, granted, I've seen a lot of stuff on the Facebook thing, and a lot of people say this is fake, that's fake, but I don't believe it, not when there's more than one person saying the same thing. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, it's not even just testimonials. There's um, published case studies in medical journals and scientific journals documenting disease reversal, including spontaneous remissions, yeah. or what are sometimes called spontaneous healings. And these are peer-reviewed published journals that we're talking about, you know, yeah. like high impact factor journals. And these have been published for decades, showing spontaneous remissions of cancers, for, for example, even stage four cancers. And in one of the journals that I'm gonna talk about today, the, uh, the medical doctors are quoted as saying, that reversal of these diseases is not a rare occurrence. And I think what's happened is the media has shifted, right? The narrative that we're hearing in mainstream has shifted to a more of a dependence on the medical establishment, yeah. right? That you're not able to heal, you must take these pharmaceuticals, it's the only option. Meanwhile, they're censoring the naturopathic. Yeah. Of doctors and the naturopathic approach. Well, I believe, you know, God, he put everything on his earth to heal your body from anything that is given to your body you know, yes. or happens to your body. Yes. There's something out anywhere that'll heal something. And I believe that 100%. Yeah. And uh, that is coming around because people are digging into the information and digging into the, the herbs and digging into a lot of different things to figure out to put the pharmaceutical business out of business because that's the number one government tax taxable chemo is the number one paid you know due to uh, tax you know through the government <clears throat> I don't know how to really explain it but <laughs> you know what I'm saying oh yes for sure so, it's highly profitable and when you said stage four cancer you know, we actually have a friend that his wife has stage four cancer, and you know, we're, he's trying to do everything he can to get her healed because they only gave her like eight months to live. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I told him, I kept on sending him videos of this and the videos of that, but uh, having somebody that he could talk to about it, or having his wife talk to about it, to get him started like ASAP. Because yeah, you know, get them started on the diet or whatever ASAP would help out dramatically. <clears throat> oh yeah, well, and there's lots of us out there now that have taken on that role, um, in spite of the huge resistance um, and censorship that we are facing. Um, I've been censored numerous times. As soon as my program was launched online, actually, it was pulled down, like almost immediately. And then we had to change platforms to get it back up. And luckily it's still up, but that we're out there. It, it just, it's harder to find. They change our algorithms so people can't find us. But there is that support. There are lots of people across the entire country and the world, in fact, that have reverse diseases, um, have successfully done a full reversal, are actively doing it. We have clients that are actively doing it and have been successful. So it is possible as long as you believe that you can do it and that, you're worthy mm -hmm. of being healed, then it absolutely 100% is possible. And help is there. You just have to dig a little bit to find us. Okay. Well, how do I find you? Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> I already found you here. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, you can go to my website. It's drcenamccullough.com. Um, and there you'll find um, like blogs that I write um, about herbs. I, I just posted one that's a six-part herbal series on a first aid kit 
I'm about to post a nine part series on personal care products you can make yourself without having the toxins. My consulting's there. I have a podcast with Joel called Beyond Labels after okay. our book. The link to the podcast is there. So you can access all my information if you could just find that website. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and where, where, where are you located from? At? I'm in northern Georgia. Northern Georgia. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But I don't have an office like in my house. Yeah. I do like Zoom or, or phone, um, phone calls with people. Okay. Yeah. All right. Are we able to do that? Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I am.